Hello and welcome to this new moon in Virgo. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about the energies of this new moon, some crystals to use for this new moon, um, rituals that you can do to really tap in and harness this energy of this new moon in Virgo. I'm also going to lead you through a guided meditation, which is just timeless. You can harness the energies and come back to this meditation at any time. So if that's you, I will leave a timestamp down in the description box so that you can come back and do the meditation and just start it right when it starts. So this new moon in Virgo, new moons in general are about starting new cycles. They are about new beginnings. And this one happens to be in the zodiac sign Virgo. Virgo the maiden, Virgo loves order and she loves things to have, be systematic. She loves to critique and analyze things. Um, she's also called very nitpicky, but it's always from this place of let's make it better. Um, she's most critical of herself, not really of others. But again, Virgo is the healer of the zodiac sign. She's the nurturer and she's very sensitive, which is missed a lot because of the exterior of let's get it done type of energy. Um, I happen to be a Virgo sun and rising. Virgo is an earth sign and she's mutable, so she feels very, and I'm saying she because Vir Virgo is known as a maiden, but whether it's a male or a female, this applies to both. But they are very, um, they like to, things to be grounded, not out in space and what if and this, you know, they need to know like, well, how, you know, so that's why systems are so important in Virgo. The reason I'm telling you this is because that's just the energy for all of us right now collectively. Um, most of us have some Virgo somewhere in our chart. So you can always look at that up to see where the energy might most be affecting you. But since we're combining this energy of Virgo with the energy of a new moon and new beginnings, then I want you to think about in your life, where could you invite in some new beginnings and then create some systems to make those happen, right? Not getting out in the dream world about all these new beginnings that we want, but let's come up with a plan, right? So, and, and writing them down. One of the things that I love to recommend for a new moon ritual is creating a vision board. So it's a nice way to just see where, what you're manifesting and what your heart's desires are, the pie in the sky for yourself. As you know, energy goes where um, energy flows, where our attention goes. So by taking your attention to what you're manifesting, you're just sending that energy there. Just sending more and more of that energy there. Okay, so my crystal recommendations for this new moon in Virgo are Peach Moonstone. I actually, yes, I also even have some on. It's a beautiful feminine um, stone. It's connected to our sacral chakra. It's the stone of new beginnings. It helps us to tap into our playfulness and our creativeness. And a lot of times when we're really stuck in that Virgo energy, we can be very perfectionistic, which can really hold us back from playing and from creating because we feel like it needs to be a certain way. So I feel like the Peach Moonstone helps us to tap into our ideal new beginnings from a playful and creative standpoint and not getting so bogged down in all of the details being perfect but really being allowed to play and to dream. So Peach Moonstone is one of my recommendations for this new moon in Virgo. It also just has a nice feminine energy to it and Virgo um, feels like um, it's more of the yin because it's ruled by Mercury. So Gemini and Virgo are both ruled by Mercury. Gemini is more the yang, more the masculine energy of Mercury, and Virgo is the yin, more of the feminine energy of uh, Mercury. So that's why another reason why I love the uh, Peach Moonstone. Okay, then Iolite, which I, do I have that? Yes, I also have that on. So Iolite is known as the water sapphire beautiful, really helps us to tap into our intuition. 
I actually love this stone when I'm working on clients because it is flat on one side and it just fits right there on the third eye perfectly and it doesn't slide down. So I love it. But it's a very calming stone and Virgo energy being mm, so bogged down in details and systems and perfectionism, they can sometimes also be prone to having anxiety and nervous energy. Whereas Iolite is very calming, very soothing, and it helps us to tap more into our intuition because if we're calm, we can go higher up. We can breathe more deeply and we can go more into our intuition, receive more insights. Okay. And then lastly is green moss agate. Okay. And as I was saying earlier, Virgo is a um, earth sign. Green moss agate paired with this beautiful ebony wood is very grounding it's very earthy and it helps us to go into our heart center so a lot of times when we're so bogged down ruled by mercury and thoughts and perfectionism and systems we are very much in our heads and the screen moss agate helps us to go into our hearts but in a safe way in a grounded way when it's paired with the ebony wood it is very stabilizing for our emotions. And here it is in a stone as well. If you can see that, the green moss agate. Okay, so those are my three crystal recommendations for this new moon in Virgo. And as far as ritual, I would, um, I'll put a link to my um, blog post below because I have some music that I recommend. Um, and another guided meditation as well to listen to that's very calming. So if you are drawn to that and you want to listen to it, then great. And I'll drop that link for you below. But for us right now, I first always recommend cleaning your environment um, energetically. So you can do that with sage spray or um, I don't know if you can see back there by the Buddha, but I have some sage that I burn or Palo Santo. Um, so just really setting the space and in your intention and having your crystals around and a lovely journal. Cause I'm not, I love the Virgo energy of the systems and creating a plan, but what I, the shadow side of that is getting bogged down with the perfectionism of it. And I feel like these crystals and meditating and settling in will help to remind us to uh, just be, okay? Just listen to your heart and listen to your intuition and just be, okay? So setting into a nice comfortable space, closing your eyes, placing your hands on your knees, palms facing down to help you ground. And just becoming more aware of the present moment, how your body feels, if you're holding any tension in your neck or your shoulders, your hips. Just starting to take in slower, more mindful breaths, being more aware of your breath. can even place a hand on your abdomen and as you breathe letting it come in through your throat to your chest bringing it all the way down to your belly and letting it just fill with that air fresh clean pure air and as you exhale Exhale deep from your abdomen. Anything stuck, stale, energy that's sitting in your body that's no longer serving you and letting that all come out with your breath. Inhaling in deeply. And sigh out your exhale. Inhaling in deeply. Do one more. And 
checking in again with your body. How does it feel? Notice where you might be carrying any stress. Unclenching your jaw, letting your face relax, bringing your shoulders down. If you can, in your mind's eye, imagine your breath sounding like an ocean wave. And as it comes in your body, the rise and the fall of a wave. Let's do 10 of these mindful ocean wave breaths together. I'll keep track. You just breathe. starts to wonder which it will just imagine any of those thoughts washing back out to sea not attaching to the thoughts letting them roll back out to sea they're not needed right now just your presence and the rolling breaths in and out. Two more. I want you to place a hand over your heart now or even both of your hands. And just what's the first word that comes to your mind? Whether it's just an adjective, a noun, a person, a place, or thing. Whatever that word is that came to your mind, that's your theme for this new moon in Virgo, for creation in general. This is coming from your higher self, and there's a message within that. And taking your hands back down, face down on your knee, bringing your head down, slowly opening your eyes, wiggling your toes and your fingers, oh, and coming back to center. So the next part of this new moon ceremony or meditation, whatever you're using this for, would be to please write down that word and keep journaling about it. Happy new moon, happy meditation, and I look forward to seeing you next time.